Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review that was requested for the Cover FX Natural FX Water-Based Foundation. This foundation has an SPF of 15. Um, I purchased this with the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. I had heard um, pretty good things about it here on YouTube. Um, Yorkie loves... Gosh, I can't remember what her, her screen name is. But... Um, she had sent me a message because I was asking about it and she really likes this foundation. It's her Holy Grail foundation. So I was really excited to try it. I wanted to try some other people's Holy Grail foundations and just see how they worked out for me. Now, this product I have in the color E20. Put some on my hand. This is the color right there. It, as you can see, it's uh, pretty pigmented. Um, the color itself and is a pretty good match. I have it on right now. Um, I try to wear the, the foundations that I review so you can see what they look like on me and see what your thoughts are. Um, shake well before use, you know, things like that, which is strange because to me, most things that are in like a tube like this, you're kind of squeezing it so it's mixing it up. But this one you have to shake first. And I found that out because one time I didn't shake it and like a lot of water came out, obviously, because it's water-based. Um, Overall, I like the finish of this when I first put it on, um, kind of like right now. I, however, find that this does not stay on all day for me, and I tried it a couple different ways. I tried it with their Skin Prep FX uh, Primer. I tried it with my Murad um, Oil Control. I tried it with my MAC Prep and Prime, and I kind of got the same results where it had a great finish for me in the beginning, but throughout the day, I kind of felt as if it was fading off or like slipping off in different areas. So I think for me, because I have combination skin and my skin can either go more to the oily side or more to the normal side. And specifically like my forehead and down through my nose, the T-zone area is where I was noticing the foundation slipping and those are my oily areas. So I thought that by putting it on with the Murad, which is what I have it on with today, it's the one that gives me the best results because it controls the oil in those areas and then also primes my face to be ready for the foundation and holds the foundation on pretty good. But I still find that this one is not as exact towards the end of the day as my other foundations are. Um, I do think that if you are someone with normal skin or you have dry skin, um, this is a great, great foundation. The coverage is, I would say, medium buildable. You can definitely make it into a more full coverage foundation if you want to, um, but it is very easy to work with. Um, how I personally applied it was I put a couple dots of it all over my face and then I buffed it in with like a MAC 183. Um, I buffed it in. I tried it with like a foundation brush um, and I tried it with like the Sephora 55 brush. Um, none of these methods worked very well with this product for me. That's just my own opinion. Um, but I'm like that with most of my foundations. I buff most, most of my foundations in with a brush similar to this or this one. Um, so. I like the overall look right away of this foundation, but to me, it doesn't stay on long enough for what I'm paying for. And um, let's see here, this is 30 milliliters, so it's one full ounce. Um, I think it's a decent product. I definitely think if you are a combination oily skin, guys, stay away from this product. Um, this one's going back. I've only um, had it for like, I'd say a couple weeks at this point to try it, um, so it's going back. Um, but, that's the good side with Sephora, guys. If you try something and you're not sure how it's gonna work out, you can take it back. I bought, when I got this one, I also bought two other foundations, so I bought three in total, and the other two I like, and I'm definitely keeping those. This is the only one that's going back of those. So, um, it's a nice product. Um, I've heard great things. I love the Skin Prep FX, like, I love that stuff. Uh, however, just this foundation did not work for me personally uh, with my combination skin. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any additional questions on this product, post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day. Bye!